Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a grand solar minimum update. Saturday, April 6th, 7.45 p.m. Mountain Time, 2024. Nearly 30 aftershocks recorded around New Jersey Quake Epicenter since Friday. Keep calm. It's boom time. Overnight snow broke April record and ushered in the wettest year to date on record for Boise, Idaho. Holy macaroni. Anchorage, Alaska, within five inches of a new snow record. Anchorage is still seeing light snow going into the weekend, and the seasonal total for the city increased with the latest round of snow. With 130.5 inches of total snowfall, Alaska's largest city, is currently in third place for the snowiest winter on record. Shut up, Al! Get your hole! Al Gore says there will be no more snow. The Wasatch is getting a lot more snow right now, in fact. 18 inches and counting. I'm always shocked by how much snow the Wasatch can get in early April, and this season is not disappointing on that front. Lest you think that the warm weather in Utah last week was here to stay, we are back in a storm cycle. As of this writing of this article, snow is coming down in the city and the mountains are being hammered with fresh flakes. Speaking of snowflakes, the dramatic moment a police officer narrowly avoids a falling tree down by heavy, wet snow in Maine. It's insane. Let's take a look. Do, 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 do. Boom! Yeah. A couple of swipes there. And we will see that down tree right in front of him. That has to be a scary moment. The good news is no one was injured in the making of this footage. The full forecast... Multiple hazards across the central and southern plains this weekend. Extreme fire weather conditions are forecast for Saturday, while widespread critical fire weather conditions are forecast through Sunday across portions of the central and the southern plains. A winter storm will also bring impacts, including heavy snow and gusty winds, to the central Rockies. Meanwhile, strong to severe thunderstorms will be possible across the high plains Take a look and click on your county for more information. Also, we have frost and freeze warnings up from the Ohio River Valley all the way through the Virginias and the Carolinas, even into Georgia, North Georgia. So heed the freeze warnings and bring in or cover your sensitive plants. The ground continues to shake after Friday's 4.8 magnitude earthquake in northern Jersey and likely will continue to do so for some time. In fact, nearly 30 aftershocks have been recorded around the New Jersey quake epicenter since Friday. And so that rumbling will continue as the Rambo Fault, where this uh, earthquake occurred, is well known, quite old, and may be releasing some steam. Seismic update. Worldwide, a moderate uptick in... Me Moderate range uh, earthquakes here, nothing significant. Some moderate activity on the West Coast uh, and some moderate activity continuing aftershocks in Taiwan and a 5.0 in China. Overall, low level activity worldwide and we can see that most recent aftershock 2.5 in Gladstone, New Jersey. A quick update on the state of volcanoes worldwide. Fernandina volcano in the Galapagos. You can see here lava is currently just a few hundred meters from reaching the Pacific Ocean, which will create a spectacular sight in the form of steam and lays, maybe in just a day or so. So we're keeping a close eye there. Sabancaya to 24,000 feet. What else do we have? Semaru to 15,000 feet today. Merapi. Puffing and passing as well. Liwatobi volcano, 6,000 feet today. Poas to 9,000. Santo Guito Fuego to 17. Poas, possible volcanic ash emissions. Ibu today to 12,000. Semaru to 15. Fuego to 15. Ibu to 12,000. Uh, and here, another significant change appeared at the eruption site over the past 24 hours. 
There is just one cinder cone that is dominating now the northern cinder cone as the second crater has stopped to be active and this volcanic eruption is slowly simmering down. We'll pop up the live stream here in just a second as we wrap up Worldwide Volcano News. We are live in Iceland at the Reykjanes Multiview and you can see that northern crater, one of the only active ones and the subsequent lava flow in front of it. So it appears as if this eruption may be coming to an end in 24, maybe 48 hours. Give them a thumbs up. This is not potentially the end of the eruption, just the end of this phase. Space weather news update for April 7th. Take a look. Holy macaroni. We are almost at the eclipse, folks. It is rapidly coming in here. As we take a look at the latest HMI intensity of the sun, we could see just one moderate sunspot here and a smaller one turning around. Very little sunspot activity as we are at solar max, according to the experts. It does appear as if we have some more active type regions turning in around the limb here. You can see that glowing here from SDO's A1A 193 angstroms. So we'll keep a close eye as we may start to get an uptick in the solar flare detection in the coming days. Three-day geomagnetic forecast showing all quiet on the western front as a coronal hole stream did move past our planet. It is now gone and activity is at low levels. We are currently at KP2. Who knew? Now you do. Now many conspiracy theories coming out, out about the great American eclipse coming up Monday afternoon in North America. And all of them are mostly garbage, including the fact that nine cities named Nineveh are along the path, the fact that it is coinciding with an April 20th planetary alignment, that this could be the beginning of the end or the end of the world. CERN is starting up its reactor. NASA is going to be shooting rockets into the path of totality, doing some soundings. And all this adds up into one giant conspiracy theory bucket. But if you want to know some of the facts about the great American eclipse and the great science that's going to be going on that afternoon, check out the full documentary on the great American eclipse by Nova and PBS. We put it up on our rumble channel so you can watch it for free and support the work we do. We do get a little bit of money here. If you come watch it here, maybe a few cents, if a thousand or two thousand. So go check this out. Not all of the whole hour uh, documentary is really good information. They still talk about some uh, models of the sun that may or may not be true, but they also admit that they don't know what's going on on the sun and the fact that the surface is much cooler than the corona. And in fact, that's why they're doing some of these studies. It's not all about the eclipse. It's about the science that goes on during an eclipse like this. It's quite fantastic and interesting, so please go check out the documentary. Also, just a few moments, join us over at Magnetic Reversal News where we will be talking about Santorini's sudden boom around 726 AD, volcanic smoke rings coming from Etna, the Antarctic circumpolar current and how it's being used to fearmonger about climate change once again. And it is probably complete nonsense. And also the fact that just 57 companies produce 80% of all the carbon dioxide being emitted and they want you to pay the tax. <laughs> you know how you can hedge your bets on the carbon tax? Grow your own food, especially with the collapse of the dollar, increased inflation, and all the things the globalists are doing to destroy our planet. Well, you can always come over to the Alliance of Native Sea Keepers and hedge your bets by buying all heirloom vegetable seeds, 243 in stock, cheapest prices on the internet at $2 per pack. Throw in ORP 2024 coupon code, get an additional 10% off. And if you spend 25 bucks, shipping is free. And that's a boom to knowledge. Please share this video as we are shadow banned. We need your help to grow. Become a Patreon, support the work we do, or just buy some seeds over here and get peace of mind, well, and save some money on the grocery bills. We'll see you in a few minutes over at Magnetic Reversal News for an amazing expose on many topics. We love you. Be safe. And that's a boom. Yeah.
Shut up, pal. Get your 